Oh, okay, welcome. I am Miss Penny. And you guys are fifth and sixth graders, is that correct? Yes. All right, excellent. I am glad that you are here. So today we are on in the refueling station. Are you ready for the video? Yes. Okay, so we are gonna start today. This is our things we're going over. And we are gonna start with the movie about Bonita from the Philippines. So if you will turn your attention to the screen over Can here. Can I turn off the lights? Um, Seth is going to take care of the lights for me. Excellent, excellent. Okay, if you guys would just turn your bodies this way, I would appreciate it. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming today. I'm so glad that you're here. And I, does anyone remember what we talked about yesterday? If you were here yesterday, what did we talk about? Okay, Are you, you're cheating. You can turn around and look at day one. And we talked about Great prayer. Commission. I'm going to start with prayer really fast. Okay, I'm going to talk to God out loud. God, Jesus. So we will maintain a reverent position for a couple of minutes. Good morning. I mean, good evening, Lord. Thank you for this day. I trust you that you will speak to these students today, these fifth and sixth graders, and you will make yourself clear to them as we learn about war. We're going to learn about war, and we're going to talk about the seed and the marble. I pray for each one of my friends in Jesus' name. Amen. You have the if you would turn your attention over here, we're going to do a little bit of review, and then we're going to go over what we're doing right here, okay? Okay, so first of all, with Benita, we learned about that. And <laughs> flying box. If you bring your money tomorrow, what we're doing is we're putting it in those buckets when you come into the worship rally, and we are doing boys against the girls. Does anybody know who is winning, the boys or the girls? Boys, boys, boys. The boys are winning, so girls will have to get it together. 25 cents is one meal, okay? I'd give my whole board in the minute. All right, you do what you what you can do, okay? Every quarter helps. Okay, so we are in missions, and we're going to read the top. Is it? We're going to review. The mission is the Great Commission. Can you guys say that? The mission, the mission is, the is the Great Commission. The Great Commission is to share the gospel. All right, fifth and sixth graders, without looking at that, raise your hand if you can tell me what the gospel is in a shortened version. Alex? Um, the gospel is um, the Bible about God's word. The gospel is the Bible about God's word. That is correct. Brooklyn? Kind of like sharing the good news. The gospel is sharing the good news. Correct. Aiden. That's okay. Let me tell you something. I've, I've summarized it in six words. Let's read it together. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Okay, that's as short as it gets. There's more that we could say, but that counts as the gospel, and we can all share that. Okay? So you might not do it perfectly, and you might do it awkwardly, but we can all share the gospel, okay? All right. Today, we, we talked about that. We're going to partner with Children's Hunger Fund to meet physical and spiritual needs. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Can you read over here? Number one is physical. Number spiritual. two is spiritual. Emotional. And number three is emotional needs. needs. Every human being has physical, spiritual, and emotional needs, okay? So, how, we'll just go on to the next thing. Today, we are going to talk about war. Did you guys see that nice display in the hallway? No. Well, you can look at it when you leave. Of a knight and a castle. Oh, yes. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about spiritual things, okay? And the fact that we are in a war, okay? We have spiritual needs and we are in a war. And how I want to illustrate that 
is with something that I call the seed and the marble. Now, if look over here. If you were if you were in my class last year, give other people a chance to answer these questions, okay? okay. Do you guys know what compare and contrast mean? No. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I would like you to raise your hand if you have an answer, okay? And the point of war is there are things you can see and things you can't see, okay? There's both, okay? Now, can you look at the seed and the marble and raise your hand, tell me how are they the same? Pick one thing. How are they the same, Alyssa? They're both hard. They are both hard. Now, you guys have done it before, so don't give it away, okay? Caleb, how are they? Tell me something. Well, they're both objects. They are both objects. Okay, anybody else? I'm just sure. Alex. Um, um, they have colors. They have colors. Okay, now, Brooklyn? God made them both. God made them both. Yes, okay. Now, can you tell me how the seed and the marble are different? Dalton, can you think of anything? How are the seed and the marble different? Um, it's because um, they, well, that one, the, it has, that is round, but in the other one, that, that looks like a nut or a The rock. shapes are different. Very good. You're correct. Alyssa? One you can kind of like see through and one you can't. One you can see through and one you can't. Alex? Um, the seed grows, the marble can't. Excellent, that's what I'm looking for. Ding, 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 ding. The marble is different from the seed because the seed has the potential for life. Okay, the seed could grow. The marble cannot. Put your, put your hands and your feet in your own space, please, and think about what I'm saying. Let's look over here. Okay. These are representing today, okay, the seed has the potential for life and the marble does not. It's useful for some things, but not for growing anything, okay? So we're going to look at it this way. Needs, you know what that is? Versus wants, okay? There, we have physical, spiritual, and emotional needs, but we also have wants. I may need dinner. I don't need a cupcake. I want one. Actually, I don't anymore. I want dessert. Okay? So that's what we want. What do you mean you don't anymore? We'll go into that later because I only have a few minutes. No more sugar she, for me. She stopped eating sugar. Fruit is okay. Okay. So let's go with seen versus unseen. I've never seen things I've never seen. Okay. There's things that we can see and things that we can't see. Oh. Um can't see God. We cannot see God, you're right, but we can see how God moves. We can see how God moves. We're going to talk about this in the scripture. That's a really good idea. So another thing for is difference is permanent versus temporary. Now who can explain what permanent is? What does permanent mean? Eliana, are you raising your hand? It will stay there forever. And what does temporary mean? Alyssa? It's only here for a little bit. It's only here for a little bit. That's why Miss Penny likes to put on semi-permanent, semi-colon henna tattoos. Because I'm not into permanent tattoos. I'm only into semi-permanent tattoos. Okay, but we'll get off of that. The next thing is... This should be a bigger word so we can read it. So everybody put your eyes over here on this word. Eternal. Eternal versus fleshly. Another word for fleshly is carnal. That's what the Bible says in the old King James, okay? And what that means is eternal lasts forever, but fleshly is temporary, okay? I know. Um, just different ways of saying it. Um, temporary is like our bodies. 
but our soul is forever. Very good, Alex. Excellent. You remember the lesson from yesterday. Our earth suit is temporary, but our soul, the person that we are, is permanent. Okay? So everybody is going to get one of these to have later. You can do that. Are the seeds edible? The seeds yes, are so edible. Let's seeds. see how many more minutes we have. Five. Okay, hold on. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. So we're going to talk about in the Bible where it says, where Jesus talks about being born of the Spirit. Now, all of you guys were born in your flesh the first time you were born as a baby, right? But Jesus tells us, let's just go ahead and read this. Who would like to read it? All this? Let's just read one line at a time. Okay. Okay, we'll start with you, Caleb. Loud and proud, like your mother says. My, my mom has never said that before. Okay, second, go ahead. Of all, um, you know, you know. Jesus answered, most assuredly, assert I say to you, okay. unless, unless one is born of water and spirit. Okay, one is born of water and spirit. Does someone else want to read the third line? Alyssa? He cannot be entered. Okay, who wants to read the fourth line? Uh, Alex? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Who would like to read? Brooklyn? And that which is born of spirit is spirit. Eliana? No, I Alex? You must be born again. Good. Okay. There's only been one person. Would you like to read? Twice. Would you like to read? The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it. Um, Alyssa? But can't tell where it comes from and where it goes. Caleb? Thank you. So it is everyone who is born of the Spirit. John 3, 5, 3. Well, I was going to let Brooklyn read that, but that's okay. All right. And does every while I'm here, okay, who can tell me what this is? A Bible. Okay. Is there anyone here who does not have a Bible who needs one? Wait, does that have a Bible now? You don't have a Bible? Well, I do have a Bible. It's just at home. Okay. You don't have one here, but you, does everyone have a Bible at home? Okay, excellent, excellent. Most of us have more than one. Um, hey, uh, next time, let me know that if you're going to say Bible, say, do you have any? Clarify, sure clarify. We got a power on, we got a power on. Okay, so, Jesus is saying that um, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So that's being born spiritually. That's being born eternally, okay? And it says, this is the difference. What is born of the flesh is flesh. So we've all been born into a flesh or a carnal nature or a sinful nature, okay? And then he says, don't think it's hard to understand that you need to be born again because none of us are going to squish back into a mommy's tummy. Well, there was one baby that had to do that. <laughs> okay. Because it had problems. But we're, problems. we're talking about being born spiritually. Right. We need to be born spiritually. What is it? Oh, can I keep that? You may keep that. Okay. And so here's our example. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but you can't tell where it comes from and where it's going. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. And I would like to point out that this is a capital S. When it is capitalized, what is that? It's a name. It's a person. That person is God. God, Jesus. God, the Holy Spirit, is all three in one. Okay, three minutes. We're doing okay. Okay, we have that. Who needs a Bible? We ask that. Okay. Now, I want to remind you, and I did have two people that brought brought a snack and they will be receiving a semi-fabulous prize. 
I would like to remind you that if you write a scripture on a note card, which is called a snack for the inner man, you will receive a semi-fabulous prize. Why do we write scripture on note cards? Can somebody explain it to the people who, who were here yesterday? Can someone explain? Because it feeds your inner man. Yes, it feeds your inner man. You're, you have two parts of you that need to eat your physical body and your spiritual body. Your physical body likes to eat snacks downstairs. Your spiritual body needs to eat the word of God. Okay, that means that our time is up. But let's make sure I didn't rush and miss anything. Everybody is going, I'm gonna give these to Mr. Robbie. Everyone is gonna get one. If you need a scripture card, did I invite you to the big party on, um, and I also have pens if you need one, but do not take your vacation Bible school time to do this. Do it on your own time and bring it back, okay? Does that Does anybody snack? need um, a, what is this called? A map. It's called a map. And we forgot to talk that Bonita has um, poverty because of a disaster. Now, I think that Mr. Don Cragness went to Cebu to help out with the disaster. Now, how would you feel if while you were at Vacation Bible School, if your whole house was destroyed and you all of it was ruined? Can you think of one thing that you would miss the most of your stuff? What would you miss the most of your stuff, Alex? Tech. Your what? Tech. Probably much your technology. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably have much. What would you miss the most? My Bible. Your Bible. Very good. What about you, Matthew? If everything in your house was suddenly destroyed, what would you miss the most of your stuff? No, it's okay. You can't think of it as a oh, I put you on the spot. I'll tell you what I would miss the most. First, I would miss my husband, but he's not stuff in my house. Second of all, I would... Technically, just use. Second of all, I would miss my pillow. Because I really like my pillow, especially when I'm tired and grouchy. We're going we're gonna to close with a word of prayer. I want to remind you that I love you and that I am glad you're here. The Bible says he loved us first, and that's why I love you, because he loved me. So I'm going to pray for you, and we're going to see you all tomorrow. Hey, I think tomorrow is bring your friend and your stuffed animal day. I have to ask Miss yes. Melissa, but I think tomorrow we get to bring our friends and our stuffed animals, and Thursday is the day we get wet. So let's have a word of prayer. And I'm sorry this is so rushed. I love you guys very much. Okay? It's not rushed to me. It's not rushed to you? Good. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for speaking to us tonight. I pray that you would help each one of those these young adults. They're not even kids anymore. They're fifth and sixth graders. I pray that you would show them that they would understand how to be born spiritually. Lord, we can't make anything be born. Only you can do that. But we know that they all need to be born spiritually because that's important. So Lord, I pray that you would work that out and you would do that for every student here. And I pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Can you guys please stand up? If I can up this way. Up here. I just want to show you that this is what they're looking at. And that's the throne I'm going to talk about later that Jesus belongs on. Okay. That's all.